You people from all over our area reacting to that controversial lunch letter that was sent to parents in the Wyoming West Valley School District. The letter tells parents that their child could be sent to foster homes unless they could make good on those delinquent lunch bills. Lead I team reporter Andy Mahalshik has been working this story since early last week. He joins us live in Kingston tonight. Andy. And good afternoon, Nick. You could say it's the lunch letter read around the world. Major networks, TV networks, newspapers, and online services picking up that story. Now, the administration, the official administration here in Kingston School District, not making any comments since this controversy broke last week, but at least one school board member is talking. He says and insists this controversy did not have to happen. Are you surprised at the scope of attention this story is getting? Absolutely. There was no way in the world when we first talked that I would ever anticipate it would have gone out of the county. Not only did it go out of the county, it went global. On Monday afternoon, Luzerne County Manager David Pedri was interviewed about the letter on CNN. He says the county insists it would never remove children from homes despite what the Valley West School District letter threatens. What do you know about this letter and this threat? Uh, Erica, when this letter went out, uh, Luzerne County was shocked. Uh, this is not something that we do. Uh, the foster care system is to be utilized as a shield to protect children, not as a sword. It was also featured on the talk on CBS in which they ran our report from last week. One local news station has the latest. I really couldn't believe it. That's how State Representative Tara Tuhill reacted. I think they need to stop sending letters. <laughs> yeah. I think they need to get a heart. The contents of this one-page letter sent to parents in the Wyoming Valley West School District has been the focus of intense scrutiny. It tells parents that their child could be placed into foster homes unless they pay up on delinquent lunch bills. The district says it's part of its ongoing efforts to collect more than $20,000 of unpaid lunch bills. The district administration has not said a word since the controversy erupted last week. Hopefully that gets their attention. Certainly did, didn't it? But school board vice president David Usavage is talking. In fact, he's been leading the charge to try to make it right. We're going to have to send those 39 people that received that letter. We need to send them an apology. Not an apology for not paying their bill, but an apology for the, the tone of that letter. And without a doubt, it is still the talk on the streets of our region. What did you think when you heard about this letter? I thought it was awful. It was a horrible thing to do. Um, it just, you know, uh, it was done maliciously. I think people should take care of other people, and I think that's what exactly they should be doing, is, is showing um, with a big heart that they're going to take care of these kids. Now, board member Yu Savage says also clarified today for the first time we've learned that only, he says, 39 letters were sent out, not to all 1,000 people in arrears for their lunch payments. Now, the school district said last week that was only one of their many options on the table to regroup, recoup that lunch money, and they do say that the apology letter will be sent, a retracted, much less harshly worded letter will be sent out this week. Yu Savage says that should happen sooner than later. Reporting in Kingston, Andy Bahal, Chicago Witness News. Andy, thanks for the update. Eyewitness News also received numerous calls and emails from people around the country offering to actually pay off the lunch debt for the school district. We referred them to school district officials.